What's up guys, Stevie J here beyond the details. Instead of an unboxing slash first impressions, I have something a little different for you guys today. I'll be installing two 16 gigabyte, um, 2,666 two megahertz um, sticks of RAM, so 32 gigabytes of RAM into my Asus Strix gaming laptop. Um, I don't use this for any type of heavy lifting. Again, I don't really video edit. This is um, it's just something I do uh, you know, for payment or for clout or subscribers. I just do it for fun. Uh, but if I'm doing, I am going to either make music, which I like to do, or do a little light video editing. I do that on my Mac Mini. Uh, on this gaming laptop here, I play World of Warcraft traditionally, which um, isn't a very intensive game where you need RAM, but I've also started playing a new game called New World. And uh, when I have New World, um, I literally never use the monitor here. I use these two monitors behind me. One is a 4K uh, ultra wide, and the other one is a regular ultra wide. It's a little bit higher than 1080p. Um, I forgot the resolution on that. Uh, and this is also 100. The the lesser resolution one is 120 hertz, and then this one is 60. Um, but because of the resolution and whatnot. Um, you know, I'm only getting about 50 FPS, 50, 50 to 60 FPS on New World. And what I've been noticing, because uh, I ran a couple of tests, is my VRAM has been going all the way up to 15 gigabytes at times. Uh, because I have the game on this, excuse me, I have the game on this monitor, and on this monitor I'll have YouTube running or, you know, whatever else. I'm multitasking always. I never just have one monitor on, so I'll have, you know, multiple things running. And I'm assuming that's what's uh, causing my RAM to spike um, like that. Because I don't have that issue in World of Warcraft. Um, but with these uh, two sticks, I will be taking this from 16 gigabytes to 32 gigabytes. It came with 16 gigabytes. Um, I can upgrade the internal SSD also. It's only 512. Um, I could put, you know, whatever I wanted to uh, with like an NVMe um, SSD. Uh, but I'm not really interested in that. I have a two terabyte um, external SSD and then an eight terabyte hard drive. Um, so, you know, for what I use this for, you know, I'm only using about half the memory on here. I don't multiple play games. I don't have multiple games on here, excuse me. I have, well, you can't see, but I have a PS5, which, I mean, I have like 20, 30 games and I literally don't even have time to play it with running the business and, you know, doing World of Warcraft and raiding three nights a week and then whatever. Uh, so this is going to be a relatively shorter video, uh, I mean, been on here three minutes already, so I don't know how short it will be. Um, but again, this is the i7-10750H uh, variant um, of the Asus Strix. Uh, again, it came with two 8GB sticks. I'm taking those out and I'm putting two 16GB uh, sticks. And yeah, we'll go from there. hope you guys enjoy and maybe you can learn something. Okay, so on this specific laptop, you're going to have 11 screws on the back, which I've already taken out. Um, you're going to have six smaller screws and five of the longer threaded um, screws. Four, three, and then four. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is you go through... Every laptop is different, but it's pretty much all the same. You're going to go through the edges. If you have a prying tool, that's probably better to do. Um, since I've already opened this um, when I first got it, because although I didn't upgrade the RAM, I put a better stick in there because I had, I had an extra one laying around. Um, but traditionally, you would go around the edges with something like this, go around the edges and you know slowly open it up where you're not damaging anything. The correct way to do this is to get grounded and all that, but I mean, I've built more computers than than I than I can count, and that's never anything. I've never damaged any hardware. Uh, what you should be careful about, which I'm not going to touch, but I want you guys to see, is when you first open the laptop, you're going to have them connected here in these two positions. Um, it's very easy for you to just unlatch that and put it back, um, but I'm not interested in doing that.
Okay, so as you will see, um, what I already did was it does have a one terabyte SSD that I put in there, and I forgot all about that because I'm not really using it. Is uh, it, I did add the one um, terabyte NVMe. Um, you can put a second one here, as you can tell. So you would put it in here, similar to this. You would unscrew here, um, put it here, and then as you put it down, you just screw it back, which is self-explanatory. I want to check something. Okay, I'd like to do this live for you guys so you can see exactly what I see. Um, I've never unattached this yet. Just curious to what exactly this is. I'm not exactly sure what that is, so I'm not going to mess with it. But anyway, I went with the PNY. Um, it is time for 2,666 megahertz, as you can see up here. Um, CL9, and then it, CL19, excuse me, and then it is at 1.2 volts. Um, yeah, pretty self-explanatory. Um, it was on sale at Best Buy for, I believe, 79 a stick or something like that. Uh, with the model numbers on here. Uh, but I believe it was about 79 It was 70-something dollars a stick, almost 80 So I'll put that there. This is a very simple upgrade as far as adding memory if you want. Like I showed you where the SSD, NVMe SSDs are. Very simple to change that out to whatever. And then this is very simple because this, this specific model could take up to 64 gigabytes of RAM, but that's overkill. Again, I don't use it for any type of video editing. Okay, so with this, I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and put this down like so. Um, with this, you're going to have two latches like that. And as you see, once you spread the latches, it's going to pop up. And then you simply take it out. Very simple. And like I stated, these were two 8 gigabyte sticks. As you see, for the beginners, um, okay. If you look closely, this side from here is shorter and this side is longer, which makes it so that you literally can't mess this up. Longer, shorter, shorter, longer. It's really no way for you to mess this up. I mean, if you mess this up, that's just... So this goes in... Like so. Push down, locked. Again, longer, longer, shorter, shorter, like a puzzle, very simple. Again, sorry, not if you're doing it like me and you're not using gloves, please don't touch any part of the motherboard. Clicked in. You're going to hear a click. It's very... You put a little bit of force, obviously, not just going to slide in because then there's no resistance, but you do put a little slight amount of force and you clamp down. That's it. Your SSDs are installed. So I just quickly, that fast, upgraded two 8 gigabyte sticks to two 16 gigabyte sticks. Again, just to reiterate something, this is where you have the NVMe SSD. You can put a second one here, you know, whatever it is you may want. It's very simple, very easy to do. Make sure everything is okay, which it is, obviously. And then you are just going to click it back in. Make sure it's all sealed all the way around. I remembered from how to how to the screws were just from obviously when you take anything off the easiest way to remember anything in PCs especially when you take it apart just remember how you took it apart if you need to take video or you need to take photos when you do that do that um, the three longer ones go here then the two longer ones go on the edges and then the small ones go 
all the way around. Very simple. And then I'll go ahead and turn the PC on to show you guys um, that everything's working. It should, um, the PC traditionally boots up for me in like literally, you know, majority of times between 30 seconds and a minute. I mean, a minute would be a, on the long end, but it boots relatively fast. And yeah. Okay, don't judge me. Again, this is live, no editing. I'm not speeding up the video. I'm not doing any fancy transitions. I'd like for you guys to see, even when I do unboxing, how it really is. And some of these guys will make a 20 minute video on something that takes them an hour, or they'll have a 10 minute video that's something that takes them three, four minutes. Um, but I think that you, it's beneficial to have someone, which I'm, I know there are people out there, but it's beneficial to have people that are just gonna, hey, this is how you do it. You know. I built my first computer, although this is not a build, obviously, it's a laptop. Uh, but my first computer was built in 98, and I had a Voodoo graphics card. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but I've been doing this a lot. I've probably built maybe about 15 builds, but okay, so that 98 is 2021, so that's 23 years ago. So I probably have built about 10 to 15 or so um, high-end gaming PCs. Um, two years ago when I sold my gaming, my custom build I had, I put probably about $3,500 into it because I had two 1080 Ti's and SLI. Um, obviously, 1080 Ti's are old now, but in, two, in the beginning of 2017, they were top notch. So just in my GPU at the time, and I got a deal on it. But I believe I paid a little bit under $1,000 on the GPU, and then I had some older parts, but all in all, just on the build was about $35, and then not included monitor, mouse, <laughs> keyboard and everything like that add on about six seven hundred maybe more it had to be more because I had two monitors anyway I literally have never used this screen here I used it one time went to Orlando to Universal uh, but it's always connected to those two monitors and I have it closed if you guys haven't seen it it's a beautiful um, this model is beautiful. I love the LEDs that are around it. This has the RTX 2070. Again, it's the i7 1075H 50H, which is a year or two ago, high-end specs. Um, it's a 1080p, 144 hertz um, screen, as you can see here. But again, I, I, I never use that, so. Just install the RAM, and as you see, the computer's already started. Let me go ahead and um, do this real quick. And we are already in. We are already in. Okay, let's just do a little check here. Excuse me, guys. What I want to show you guys is that the RAM is already working. Let's let all this crap load. Okay, this is my World of Warcraft stuff. Let me go ahead and try to adjust this for you guys. Sorry about that again, this is unedited. <laughs> um, but if you can see um, here from the top line, i 7 10 7 5 h CPU at 2.6 gigahertz, not overclocked, um, not necessary. 
and then RAM, installed RAM, 32 gigabytes. Obviously, it says 331.8 usable. Um, it always does that. You never get the full amount. Um, so, guys, that is installing 232, 216 gigabyte RAM sticks in my Asus Strix laptop. Um, this is the G512LW model. I put that into the um, description. And it's literally that simple. Beautiful laptop, very easy to do.